Hey, how's it going? It's Sam Frost here, back with some more digital marketing advice. And in today's video, continuing my recent trend of answering common digital marketing questions, today's question is how can I measure my website traffic for free? So you've built a website for your business, or you've had one for a while, and you want to know, are you actually getting traffic or visitors to your site? How do you measure that, and how do you do it without having to spend money? Well, the answer is actually, in some respects, simpler than you might think. So the first thing is to look at the platform you're using. So if you're using something like, uh, you know, Weebly or Squarespace or Shopify, so a lot of those more sort of modern do-it-yourself CMS platforms, they often have their own inbuilt analytics. Uh, and for the purposes of this video, I won't get too deep into the weeds about the sort of relative accuracy of these inbuilt analytics systems, but for many small business owners, just looking at the inbuilt analytics in something like Shopify or Squarespace is a pretty good starting point. It's better than having nothing. It's going to give you an understanding of, are you getting traffic to your site? What pages or products are being looked at? Uh, where's some of that traffic coming from? What sort of devices are they using? So go and look inside your CMS system or let me know in the comments section below what CMS system you're using and I can give you some advice as to whether there's inbuilt analytics. Now, going on from there, if you want to measure your website traffic for free, you should really be looking at actually upgrading from whatever inbuilt tracking you've got. And also bear in mind that some CMS platforms don't really come with inbuilt tracking either, so it may not be an option for you uh, if you're using a sort of basic WordPress install, for example. Um, so you want to actually upgrade to the sort of industry standard, and that's typically using Google Analytics. Now, Google Analytics is a free product. It's provided for free by Google. At the time of recording this video, we're at the sort of interesting transition period between uh, what's called universal analytics, which has been the analytics system that uh, most people who use the platform are sort of familiar with and accustomed to, and that's been in place for quite some time now. And there's this transition period towards this new Google Analytics 4. I'm not going to get into the big differences between the two of them, but if you've not got Google Analytics and you're looking to start measuring your website traffic with analytics, you can actually still set up both at the moment, even though Universal Analytics is going to be removed sometime next year in 2023. Um, you can still set up both. A lot of the information and advice you'll find online about using analytics Analytics is focused around universal analytics and to be honest it's a lot easier to use but you should at least set up in parallel because at some point you're going to have to change over to Google Analytics 4 um, but as I said that's really a topic for another time but at the high level to answer the question uh, you know how do you measure your website traffic for free having Google Analytics is really the gold standard for most businesses um, there are other analytics tools you can use there are self-hosted ones that have some privacy advantages and so on uh, but most businesses that I work with and come across Google Analytics is the correct choice. Now, the, depending on what website platform you're using, what CMS, how your site's built, how you manage it, and even down to things like uh, what jurisdiction you're in, so privacy laws you might have to consider, there are different ways to install and configure Google Analytics, and I can't really tell you exactly how to do it without knowing what it is your business does, but feel free to leave a comment, or you can email me on info at samfrost.co.nz. But long story short, Google Analytics is that sort of gold standard platform for measuring your website traffic. It's going to allow you to see how many visitors your site's getting, where they're coming from, both to, in terms of geography, so you know what countries or cities, uh, and also in terms of channels, so are they coming from organic Google search or Google ads or Facebook or um, email or direct traffic, so typing in your uh, website address into their address bar. You get those kind of insights, you can see what pages people are looking at, you can see what devices they're using, you can even see uh, things like conversion tracking, so measuring uh, you know, the sort of uptake of conversion actions on your website, so things like filling out your quote request form or clicking to call on phone numbers, for example. All of that can be measured. Some of that stuff is uh, sort of configured right out of the box. You don't have to do much to, to get it working. Other stuff like conversion tracking, you might have to put a bit of work in to get it functioning. And you may have to look at using other systems that Google provides like Google Tag Manager to make that work as well. Once again, without knowing the specifics of what you're trying to measure and what platform you're trying to measure on, I can't really give you a firm answer uh, you know, in this video. But if you want to measure your website traffic for free, Google Analytics is something I highly recommend. And realistically, if you're going to you know, grow your business to the point where you might uh, you know, use a digital marketing agency or freelance or bring someone into your business to actually run this for you, or you just want to sort of learn the uh, ropes of this industry as well as you can so you can grow your business yourself, you're probably going to need Google Analytics because most of the advice you're going to find online is going to be focused around how you use Google Analytics to interpret the performance of your digital campaigns and measure your uh, traffic growth. And also if you work with a digital marketing consultant or freelancer or agency such as myself, we're going to want to look under the bonnet or look under the hood of your website and see how it's performing and we'll want Google Analytics access 
access to be able to do that. So even if you're um, just starting out small, I would definitely recommend looking at getting Google Analytics on your site. It is definitely the best way to start uh, measuring the traffic of your website and it's totally free to use. Uh, you know, you don't have to pay Google anything. It's pretty easy to do the basic setup unless you've got some very uh, unusual website if you're on anything like Shopify or Squarespace or Wix or WordPress, there's so many good tutorials out there as to how you actually go out and configure your Google Analytics tracking on your relevant platform. Uh, as I said, if you want to do some of the more advanced stuff, it can be a bit more complicated, but there's good tutorials or you can often hire people through platforms like Upwork or, or, or even locally to do that kind of work for a good price as well. So yeah, if you want to measure your website traffic for free, you could start by looking at whether there's anything built into the CMS system you're using, but ultimately I would recommend that you go straight away and install Google Analytics. It's really that sort of industry standard tool for most businesses and certainly if you were to hire any expert uh, advice you know, externally into your business, so a digital marketing consultant such as myself, we're going to want to see your Google Analytics to see how your website's performing, what pages are people viewing and so on. Um, so definitely well worth learning the basics of. So hope you find that helpful. If you've got any questions, please do let me know. Leave a comment below. Uh, you can like this video and subscribe if you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.